I will be getting a call today from the White House to set up um, presentations and time a time slot. Um, the phone call I think you're referring to came Tuesday evening at uh, 10 past 5 from President Obama, um, basically congratulating and uh, offering his uh, his condolences and uh, the pride of the nation and his pride in in my son and his accomplishments. So it was it was very nice to to get a call directly from the president and talk to him directly. I was I was very surprised um, that it came directly from him. Um, I'm waiting for a call now from the White House to you know work out schedules with them and uh, arrange times that are appropriate for both uh, President, Congress, and our family. And you'll go to Washington? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I, I plan on going anyway. They, they are having, um, they annually now have a, uh, a memorial service for all soldiers that have been killed in the Iraq-Afghani war. And I was there last year, and I was planning on going this year again on the 19th of September. On my son's birthday was the 20th, and it was on the 20th last year, so it worked out really, really well for me. And I have family down that way, so I met them there, and it was nice. So I was planning on going the 19th, so I don't know whether we'll coordinate it somewhere around that or not. It depends, again, on what the president has to do. I have seven sisters, five brothers, 52 nieces and nephews. My ex-wife, Jared's mother, is the oldest of 11. So there's an awful lot on that side of the family as well, and they've all been very, very loyal. So and Jared had a slew of friends, um, both in and out of the military, who have been calling me and say they want to know when it is they want to go. So, um, 